So today we're going to talk about this DHT-22 humidity and temperature sensor. The sensor is fairly cheap on Amazon. You can get three of them for $10, which makes it very accessible if you want to measure the humidity and temperature of a certain room using a microcontroller. And the accuracy on this thing is also pretty good with a plus or minus of 0.5 degrees Celsius, either hotter or colder and the humidity is about 2% leeway up or down. So it's, for the price, it is pretty accurate. Now let's go check out the pin layout to see what each pin on this thing does. So the positive pin right here is the five volt rail. This negative pin over here is the ground rail. And then the middle pin right here is the output rail. And that's what we're gonna connect to a digital pin on an Arduino so we can get the output of what the temperature is and what the humidity is from the sensor. Take a look at the back. So we already have these two resistors right here. So it, um, the circuitry all lines up and we don't have a floating point with the output pin, which makes the setup very, very easy. Okay, so we're gonna take the negative pin, connect to the ground right here. the positive pin and then we're going to connect it to the whoops five volt rail and then we're going to take the output pin and connect it to output seven it could be any one of these on the mega or it could be any one of the um, other ones as long as it's a digital output pin that's all we need nothing nothing particular or special Let's install the library for it. So this is the newer Arduino app that was released recently, not the older version. So it comes with these little books right here. This is the library. Then you're gonna search up, the sensor is also called the AM2302 sensor. So that's what we're gonna search up, AM2302. Oh. And then as you can see, I have the one by Frank right here. It's already installed, so I need to install it. But if you need to, all you gotta do is press install right here. And it's gonna get installed. And then if you go to file examples, yeah, file examples. And then if you go all the way down, you can see the AM302 sensor. And then you're just gonna click example. And then once you plug in your Arduino, go up to here, click the one that's on whatever port and then you're all set. So now let's explain the code. So this right here, we're just going to include the library, let the um, program know. Um, don't know why the U is right here. So since we don't need the U for our particular board, we're gonna take that out. But um, it might not make a difference with the U, I haven't tried it. So this is, we're um, telling the sensor that we're using sensor pin, which is pin seven. Then we're gonna begin with the serial port on that particular line. Make the sensor begin, delay. And then if it's an error, it's gonna repeat an error, like if something's not connected properly. So pretty much the library is very simple. This is gonna read the sensor and then we're gonna call it um, status, that's the variable name. And then we're gonna print whatever status is. And then that's gonna let us know if the um, reader's working. And then if you say um, the name of it, 
and press get temperature, then it's gonna report the temperature. And you say humidity, it's gonna report the humidity. Very, very basic, very simple, but that's all you really need to do, because that's its main purpose. So that is the DHC 22 humidity and temperature sensor. As always, if you have any questions about how to use it, just leave it a comment down below. If you like this style of a video, which is typically different from my project style, this is more of a tutorial, let me know if you like that too. And if you like electronics and learning about them, please subscribe. Thank you.